Aloha, I'm Penny Hansen. Now, have you been wondering about the idea of possibly moving to Kauai, but you're just not quite sure which town would be right for you? Today, we're going to go over some of the pros and cons of living in Kauai's biggest small town, Kapa'a. As a realtor here, I've had the pleasure of exploring and showcasing properties throughout Kauai, and as a resident, I found my perfect spot in Kapa'a, and I love it. So today, I'm going to go over some of the greatest pros about living here, as well as some surprising cons that I know that I didn't really think about before my big move. We're going to go through those as well at the end, so stick around. In fact, make sure you don't lose me. Hit subscribe and also the notifications and you'll always be sure to see my latest content. Now, let's talk a little bit about it. Kapa'a is a small town on the palm tree lined east coast of Kauai, known for its natural beauty and laid back lifestyle. And my favorite reason, the number one reason that I love Kapa'a so much, is we've got waterfalls. Kauai is often referred to as the Garden Isle due to its lush scenery and greenery and scenic beauty, and people especially love the waterfalls. Everyone knows about the amazing waterfalls in Hanalei, but did you know that Kapa'a has its own set of stunning five or maybe even six tiered waterfalls? It's the backdrop to our community, and it is my favorite thing about Kapa'a. I was surprised to see the waterfalls flowing a good portion of the year, and just the feeling that I get by going outside and seeing that is priceless. And it doesn't matter whether I'm driving to the grocery store, out to work, or to errands, or out for a fun adventure. It's a really special, it's a beautiful sight, and I love it. The number two great thing about living in Kapa'a is its convenient central location. You hear about Kauai being remote, and it absolutely is. In fact, we've got just one main road that goes from one end of the island to the other. And Kapa'a is a great central location. It's just about 10 miles from the airport, 22 miles from Honolulu on the North Shore or 24 miles to get down south to Hoipu Beach. And as someone who loves to explore the island, I get around to both sides frequently and it's a beautiful, easy ride in any direction. Yes, there's traffic, but lucky for us that live up on the mountain, we've got a bypass and a few other roads that we can take to often scoot right past a big bunch of that traffic. Now, when you do find yourself in the middle of the traffic, just turn up the radio and enjoy the palm trees, the ocean breeze. You'll get where you need to be. So what else is so great about Kapa'a? This is an excellent location for people who love an active outdoor lifestyle. Kapa'a sits close to the beach, offering eight miles of clear, refreshing water to surf fish, swim, and play in. There's a seven mile long bike path that continues past the shops and the restaurants of historic Kapa'a town. You can access cool little beaches and you'll see some beautiful scenery along the coast. I call it the PCH of bike paths because this is it's just a beautiful ocean pathway that you will really enjoy whether you're walking or riding. Kapa'a offers an array of activities and attractions to explore from hiking. We've got hikes to multiple waterfalls here in town. You've got Ho'opi'i Falls, you've got swimming in the stream. You could take yoga classes on the beach. This community is one where neighbors look out for one another. There's a lot of street parties, sponsored events down in town. The people in Kapa'a are warm, welcoming, and friendly with plenty of aloha spirit. Number four. Kapa'a has excellent shopping, dining, and entertainment options that cater to different tastes and budgets. We've got specialty stores and boutiques, farmers markets and restaurants. You can find everything that you need. We're home to a delightful blend of locals and tourists alike. Kapa'a offers a large selection of restaurants and food trucks on the east side. There's plenty of grocery stores, shops, bakeries, schools, churches, and everything you need in a great community. This is a great little town with a laid back vibe. You'll hear live music from the restaurants and with a selection of hotels in the area, that means there are plenty of tiki bars on the ocean for Mai Tais at sunset. Cause it's always fun to live like you're on vacation. The fifth great reason to buy in Kapa'a is it is more affordable. You can buy a single family home here for a lower price per square foot than Hanalei or Princeville or Poipu for example. And just like Hanalei, Kapa'a has gorgeous waterfalls as a backdrop. We've got the beach nearby, the bike path, there's plenty of restaurants and shops. Cons. The first con was a bit of a surprise to me. What is it? The Kauai rain. Living on the east side, especially further back and higher on the hill where my neighborhood is, we get a lot more rain than I was expecting. For over a decade, I lived on Oahu in Hawaii Kai, and it was glorious weather year round. It seemed like it never rained or stormed hardly at all. I suppose that would be the equivalent of me living on this island in sunny Poipu. 
I didn't take that into consideration when moving. And even though it had been mentioned, I didn't really think it would be that big of a deal because I assumed it would be just like Oahu. And I can imagine people from the mainland might not think twice about this, but up here, a little higher up, especially being so close to Mount Waieliele, we get rain when it might be perfectly dry and sunny just down the hill. And at first it was a bit off-putting. I'm not gonna lie because I would wait around for things to clear up and I'd end up waiting when I could have just gone down the hill or headed south and had my sunny adventure. Now don't get me wrong, the weather is typically sunnier down the hill in Kapa'a town near the beach. I'm a little bit further up in gorgeous Upper Kapahi, where it starts to get really lush and jungly. And along with the tropical rainforest comes a bit more rain. Now that being said, this con is the reason for my number one pro, the waterfalls. So now you know, don't wait on the rain, just head on out. Now there are times when I am working from home or just relaxing, and I now enjoy my rainy days. The plants are getting watered, and I'm getting four or more extra waterfalls in view on the mountain behind the house, which is always something special to see. Now another issue with rain comes into play when you're farming or gardening here. We have a small garden that has had some real trial and errors, with the first few challenges being due to the rain. And those issues were the soil being stripped of nutrients in some runoff areas where heavy rains pass through, and the second being that rain coming off of the mountains flows towards the lowest part of the property, creating new streams during torrential downpours. We had a little stream run right through the middle of the garden, washing much of our efforts away. And that's basically when I gave up the planting and gardening. <laughs> I stick with the flowers now. And luckily my partner has a green thumb and a lot of patience because rain wasn't the only issue. Hey, are you guys curious about gardening here? Please let me know what kind of videos you want me to make. Now my number two con is mold. But with rain comes mold on leather and other items. It is wet out here in the jungle and the mold surprised me. I never had this problem in Florida, maybe because we lived with air conditioning during the warmest days. But here, and this could be a con of its own for some people, did you know that many houses don't have air conditioning or heat? And even though I feel it's much more comfortable in my home than Florida ever was in the summer, the mold here can sneak up on you. There are some great mold products on the market that can help clean this up. Although you might, as I did, not notice mold on something like my high heels that I don't wear much here, or a purse that you rarely use. And then when you pull them out of the closet months later, they might be covered in a moldy surprise that in some cases you are better off disposing of it. Now for those of you still saying, wait, Kauai homes don't come with AC or heat? Don't worry, some of them do, but actually many do not. And as Guy Hagi says, we have the best weather on the planet, so don't worry. We're in the 80s mostly in the daytime and quite a bit cooler at night with strong breezes that keep things feeling really nice even on the hottest days. I personally very much prefer open air fresh breezes over air conditioning. And even though the mainland seems to be in a crazy heat wave, our high temperature record breakers are still quite mild and enjoyable in comparison. My third con might be just here in the back of the valley, but we have to deal with helicopters. Helicopters? Yes, the tour helicopters end up flying along our ridge, basically right along our backyard when it's too wet somewhere along their normal Kauai flight path. Remember Mount Waieliele, one of the wettest spots on the planet? Well, when it's too rainy to see the gorgeous weeping walls or other highlights of Kauai, they head our way to see the gorgeous Makaleha Falls. Remember those fantastic six-tier Kapa'a waterfalls I told you about? I have definitely heard an increase in helicopter flights happening this past year. We have had a rainy start to this year after a few glorious La Nina years that had very little rain. The number four con of living in Kapa'a is something I didn't expect, which are wild boar that come into your yard. At first I thought the family of boar, or is it boars? I'm not sure which it is, but at first they sure were cute. 
but I quickly saw for myself why my neighbors didn't approve of my fondness for them. They're destructive to your grass and your plants and a little bit scary. Here's a little surprise Kahuna Road trivia. We also see a lot of wild cows who are equally as destructive, as well as the neighbors goats and sheep who love our tea leaves as much as we do, and they eat them every chance they get. We love our plants here because they get so big and beautiful, and then between the wild boar and the little escape artist next door, they come and eat the top off of all of my plants. Now Mother Nature does take it back over, and before you know it, the grass has grown over the hoof marks, and the tea leaves that are still standing will always sprout new leaves once again. Meanwhile, somebody somewhere is serving up Kahlua Pig. Mmm, one of my favorites. Number five, as much as I don't want to include this, I can't leave it off of the list. That would be that Kauai has a very high cost of living. Now, Hawaii has always been known for being expensive and Kapa'a is no exception. The cost of homes, land, groceries, gas, utilities, and other basic necessities is higher compared to mainland USA. People know this, and I suppose you could say it's the price of living in paradise. So the question is, what is it worth to you to live here year round? I also wanted to mention that although some condos along the beach in Kapa'a might be licensed TBRs that allow short-term vacation rentals, the majority of homes in the area allow only long-term rentals. I've got a video coming up about legal short-term vacation rentals here on Kauai. WorldPopulationReview.com reports that Kapa'a is the largest town on the island with a population of 9,472 in 2023. Now over history, the island of Kauai has seen slow and steady growth, and this trend isn't expected to stop, at least not in the near future. In conclusion, Kapa'a Hawaii offers a great and active community near the beach with plenty of dining and shopping options and tons of natural beauty. However, potential residents need to consider the high cost of living as well as perhaps limited job opportunities. If you are considering Kapa'a as your next home, it's essential to weigh the pros and cons and consult with a knowledgeable local realtor. Contact me and I will be more than happy to discuss your relocating goals with you and help you come up with a great plan of action. If you liked this video, you might like seeing my video, five of the prettiest and most stunning towns and neighborhoods on Kauai. Remember, I've got new episodes coming up every Monday. Please like and subscribe.